Here we're going to show you how to find the file that you create in ConstructCAM so that you can rename it from the WinPCNC program and save it to a specific location that you can use it any other time or run it perhaps maybe on a simulator if you wish to try that first. Right, let's create something that we're going to run. Let's go to plot. We'll select a text. Let's choose the font that we're going to be using. Oh, we'll use an outline font for this one. We'll say OK. Create it a little bit bigger. Let's make it 30 millimeters. And the white text, you can see, it's an extra step. Now we can grab it and place it. Oops, we grab it on its little dot. And we need to change it from a text to a graphic. So we select operate row, text to graphic. I delete the text, hit start, and let's go back to CAD. If we select the marking tool, we now can grab the text and scale it and move it around whatever we need to do. In this case, I want to create the text standing out and mill away all of the other material. I'm going to set up a tool tool type animal cutter. Let's use a three millimeter cutter or one point five millimeter radius. I'm gonna go one millimeter deep. A little bit of extra clearance of three millimeters and all of the rest will be the same. Say okay. Now we can go to CAM, more core 2D 3D and we are on layer zero. We're gonna be using the same tool boss it to the outside and use the rim row to mill away all of the rest of the material. Okay, and there we have it. Now if we export the data to the WinPCNC program, we're not going to export tool zero, we're going to switch that off, leave it off. Export, open WinPCNC, and there the file is ready for cutting. And then of course we can set up the speeds and the tools. Let's go for 20 millimeter per second. The measure must be zero. And everything else is good. Save. OK. Now we can run the file. But if we want to keep the file, we'll need to find it in the WinPCNC installed folder. So I'm going to open the computer and navigate to the installed folder program files in this case for some of you it'll be just under the C drive in PC and C and we look for the winpcnc.tmp file which we can now rename cnc step dot and we're going to use the file extension nc for numerical control if we enter yes we do want to change it here it is, cut, we'll paste it on the desktop, and if you go back to WinPCNC, so open file on the desktop, cnc step.nc, open, there it is again. The difference is this time we can look at the G code, edit it, and even run it on a simulator like to do so at a later stage. So once again just to recap, export the file, open the WinPCNC folder under my computer, in your installed folder program files or on the C drive, WinPCNC and you look for the WinPCNC.tmp file, in this case we've renamed it and it's now on the desktop, which we see there, and with this file we can work at a later stage.